coming to the second part that is the mantle okay the mantle this is drawn like this below the crust now we are coming to the second layer that is the mantle the mantle lies just below the earth crust and it is about 2900 kilometers deep that makes it the thickest among all the layers that comprise the earth you can see the thickness that that is 2900 uh, kilometers deep it is made up of viscous material students viscous material the meaning of viscous is glutinous which may means although it is in liquid form it does not flow freely okay that is the chip chipa okay viscous means glutinous means chip chipa okay so this mantle is made up of viscous material that it is in liquid form and but it does not flow freely from here to any side okay the temperature and the pressure within the mantle is are high as it is located below the crust that makes the material of the mantle very viscous material inside the mantle is more viscous than tar you have seen the tar from that we make the tar coal so viscous is more uh, this uh, viscous is more uh, material is more viscous than the tar and is known as magma and it is the semi solid and can flow magma is contained within the magma chamber finally as you go deeper inside the earth you come to the core part now we are coming to the core this core also we are having the two uh, layers the outer core and this is the inner core the dark red color that is that is shown with the uh, inner core the innermost layer of the earth is the core the radius of the core is about 3500 kilometers and the core is further divided into outer core and the inner core outer core the outer core lies just below the mantle see okay this is the outer core just below the mantle it is and mainly made up of nickel and iron okay nickel and iron and this combination give, gives it the name knife nickel ni nickel may ni stand for nickel and fe stand for ferrous that is the iron